Look at this Apollo 17 image. The radar under the command module is tracking this spherical object right here. When they look at this, they nobody saw this tubular thing that appeared on the lunar surface. Look at that. Look at that. Right there. I'm going to make it way bigger so you can see it. Look at that thing. And it has texture. Now look, check this out, how that thing is going to move up. Frame by frame. Look at this. Look at that, how it's vanishing. Look at that. It just blend back into the reality. The moon surface is filled with crystalline structures. You can see them right here. Look, all the geometry, that crystalline geometry is right there. So essentially, you're not flying anywhere. You're just moving through this reality, this fabric. The same thing that Leonard Watson captured with his telescope. All those filaments, look at the vertical filaments. You see all these crystalline, all these things. These little lines that are kind of faded, but they're there. That's no pixelation at all. That's the reality, the fabric of this reality. Cameras can see it, we cannot. Our eyes are not capable of seeing it. Only the camera, because they don't have an optic nerve and they don't have to process the image into the brain. Cameras don't have that. They see what they see and that's what they're seeing. Look at that. That's the, the lunar uh, sculpted surface. But it's all covered with that crystalline uh, reality, that, that fabric. It's all over. In fact, it's on the moon, it's in space, it's on the clouds, it's in your house, it's outside, it's everywhere. We are Im embedded in it. Look, check it out. Those are the sculptures. It's all in the shape of hands. All of these sculptures are in the shape of hands. That's what these sculptures are. You people cannot think about any of this. It took me 20 years to decipher that geometry, that geometrical pattern that you're looking at the, in the surface, the moon. Check this out. Let me go back. Look how that thing is going to manifest right there. Look, there it is. Look where is that? That cylindrical thing. That's a hand. Look. See? As the as the command module passed over, all this thing appeared and disappeared in a hurry. Look look at the background. It's just that no investigator is looking into these things. It's, it's a sad deal. The investigator only look at, oh, aliens, oh, this, oh, man, this is celestial, dude. There might be some visitors somewhere, but on the moon and all, all the solar system is ruled by the celestial, by the creator of the electromagnetic vehicle, spherical things, electromagnetic, and displays that come from the fabric, this crystalline structure. And this geometrical pattern that you see there, those are sculptures in the shape of hands. Huge, medium, tiny, ultra huge. And they become crystalline as they move from the surface into space. 
and they are, like I say, they go through our entire solar system and beyond. This reality is made by that uh, hand-shaped geometry. Check it out. See? See, look, look at the, the, how this thing appear and disappear. This, this object flying over, or it look like they're flying. Look, there's a, the, look at that. There it is, right here. See, look. Then look, look at the cylindrical thing right there. It just protruded from nowhere. From it looked like it came out of the ground, but I'm looking at it. It came out of nowhere. It just solidified. Look, look at that. Look what it does. Now see, it just vanished. Then appeared. Look. Boom. Frame by frame, look what it does. I'm the only one that saw it. Look, it just blend back into the crystalline nothingness. Look at that. It's like looking at a ghost appearing. In fact, that's what ghosts are. Ghosts appear from the filament of this crystalline reality and then blend back into a, a, and most likely is really is God that is showing you that because that's what you wanted to see. If you know what I know, you can go to any haunted place and nothing's going to happen because is, is you are projecting that type of reality. We create our own realities. In the ethereal world, if everything is in harmony, we're the one with the emotional state. And this solid state, this physical realm, is emotional. We are giving a chance to experience that, but we just don't know it. We don't, we don't use it correctly and people, I mean, that's once in a, in, in, that one chance to experience this emotional state. Most people don't make a good use of it. They die not knowing what they came here for. What was their deal? Becoming the correct human is what counts. That's what counts for whoever created us.